This is brought to you by the Alumni Association of PISJS. Hey guys, we're back uh, with the same topic. We just learned how to use a vernier caliper, but right now we'll be doing some more examples of vernier calipers. Okay, so here we have a case, right here, and as we saw in the, the video earlier, the reading was 7 and 0.9 millimeters, so it was 7.9 millimeters. Let's see, let's just change the reading. For example, I'm just sliding this, this is, this is how it slides, I'm just sliding it and putting it right here. That's it. Okay, now let's see how we would calculate it. From the previous video, you should remember that the main scale reading, there were two readings. One was the main scale reading and the other was the vernier scale reading. The main scale reading is found by checking the zero mark, zero mark, on the vernier scale and by checking which point it coincides with on the main scale okay so I'm writing it here so that you just understand by checking which point it coincides with on the main scale the main scale sorry I'm just doing it so that you guys just make it clear in your mind so we check the zero mark on the vernier scale and we then see which point it coincides with on the main scale that is the main scale reading okay so let's see here what the main scale reading is the zero mark on the vernier calipers coincide with this point it's just a little here but always remember that we, if it's between two points on the main scale we'll always take the one that is before the the mark the actual thing never the one after the reading if it's between 10 and 11 uh, 10.3 and 10.4 it would always be 10 point uh, sorry, if it's between right now, it's between 13 and 14. We'll always take 13, never 14. Remember that. Okay, so here we can see this is 10 and this is 11, 12, and 13. This is this is the point it's inciting with actually. So we'll take 13 because it's between 13 and 14. So we we'll always take 13. So our main scale. reading becomes 13 millimeters since the scale is in millimeters now let's move on to the second scale which is the vernier scale the vernier scale reading is taken by looking at the points on the vernier scale that coincide exactly perfectly with one of the points on the main scale okay so we have to find out a, a mark on the on the vernier scale that is matching perfectly or is in in line with one of the readings on the main scale. We do not care which reading it is in line with, but just the fact that it is in line with the reading. That is important. So let's see here. Uh, this reading is not in line with any reading. Zero. So this is not the one. This is not the one. This is not the one. No. Yes. This is the one. The fourth mark on the vernier scale is coinciding perfectly. You can see the rest of them do not coincide with any point. Only the fourth one is coinciding and is in line perfectly with one of the points on the main scale. I, I am not <coughs> worrying about which point it's coinciding with. Just the fact 
that the fourth mark is coinciding with a point perfectly here. So this is the fourth mark. Now since all of the readings are in millimeters, we will, this is not the reading, remember that this is not the vernier scale reading, this is just the mark. To make it a reading, we will have to multiply the mark with the accuracy of the vernier scale. So the accuracy of the vernier scale is 0 0.01 millimeters, which makes it 0 0.04 millimeters. This is the vernier scale reading. You have the main scale reading, you have the vernier scale reading. To find out the actual dimension, we will just add the main scale reading plus the vernier scale reading, giving us 13. Sorry, this is, uh, uh, I'm sorry, this is 0 0.1 millimeters. I'm sorry, so this becomes 0 0.4 millimeters. So this is 13. 0.4 millimeters because this would be 13 plus 0.4 I'm sorry for this confusion don't be confused with this the, the accuracy is 0 0.1 millimeters of a vernier scale so this is 13.4 millimeters let's take another example we can take as many examples as we want let's just Put it here somewhere. This random here. That's it. Okay, this is the dimension we want to measure. So let's go again. First step to find the main scale reading. The main scale reading, as you all know, again, we have to check the zero mark on the Vernier scale reading on the Vernier scale and see and check for the point that the zero mark coincides with on the main scale. So this is the point that it's coinciding with. Again, it's a little between the two points. So we'll always take the first one. Okay, so this is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17. This is 17 millimeters on the main scale. Now, the vernier scale reading again we have to check for a point that is in line with the main scale reading any po any point which is in line with the main scale reading we will take that point okay so let's see if this is in line no this is not this however is in line the first mark is in line you can always check all of the points to make sure that only one mark is in line yes second mark is not in line third is not in line fourth is not in line fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth and tenth all of these are not in line only the first mark is in line so this is make sure you remember this is not the reading it's just the first mark now multiply the first mark as in one with the accuracy of the vernier caliper which is 0 0.1 millimeters the answer would be 0 0.1 millimeters this is the vernier scale reading now to get the final answer main scale reading plus vernier scale reading giving us 17 plus 0 0.1 millimeters this is p 17.1 millimeter let's let's check let's hope this is the right answer and this is 17 plus 0 0.1 millimeters 17.1 millimeters so we're on the right track for now let's just do one more example let's take some point here so oh, sorry let me just erase the show so that let's just take some point here okay now again first thing first main scale reading main scale reading again i'm reminding you that the zero mark you have to ch check for the zero mark on the vernier scale and find out the point it's coinciding with on the main scale 
the zero mark is coinciding with this mark on the main scale, which is between two points. Let's see what two points are these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. It's between 7 and 8. But we will always take 7 because we know for the fact that we'll always take the one before. If it's between the two points, we'll take the one, the reading before that. So this is 7 millimeters. We can write that easily. It's very straightforward. Now, the Wernier scale reading. And now we'll have to check for the points that are coinciding with each other. So let's see, zero is not coinciding, it's between two points. One is between two points on the main scale. Two is between two points. Three is not coinciding with any point. Four, five, no. And this one, sixth, it's perfectly in line with this point. I do not care which point it's in line with, just the fact that the sixth point is coinciding perfectly. So it is the sixth mark. Now the ac we will multiply six with the accuracy of the Wernier calipers, which is 0 0.1 millimeters. This becomes 0 0.6 millimeters. Now final reading would be seven, which is the main scale reading, plus 0 0.6. The answer would be 7.6 millimeters. Now, last example so that you get a hang of it. Let's see. Just change to some point here. <clears throat> Again, first of all, the main scale reading. This is the zero, and it is between two points, which is one, two, three, four, and five. It's between four and five. So you know, guys, now that we always take the reading as four. So this should be four millimeters. Now, the Wernier scale reading. Let's see which point on the Wernier scale is coinciding with one point on the main scale. Zero is not coinciding. One is not coinciding with any point. Two is not coinciding with any point. Three is not coinciding. Four is not coinciding. Five is not coinciding. And six it is again. So this is the sixth mark which is perfectly in line with the point on the main scale. So it is the sixth mark. Now, what you'll do is multiply the mark with the accuracy of the Wernier scale, 0 0.1 millimeters. This would give you 0 0.6 millimeters. The answer would be main scale plus Wernier scale, which is equals to 4 plus 0 0.6, giving you 4.6 millimeters we can also check oh sorry i just destroyed it and so we cannot check right now but this would be the answer so i'm sure guys by now you'll be having a hang of it and try to get one of your uh, simple standard word and calipers from your physics lab and you can test anything on it make sure that the cl the clip on the top is tightened before you take reading so that your reading does not change while you are looking at the main scale and the Wernier scale readings okay so that would be it guys if you have any other problems kindly write it write it down on the comment section and i'll be looking forward to it and thanks for watching